Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Justin here again, uh, back for another review. This time it's a subscriber request, 2013's The Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, this movie, you know, is a reminds me a lot of the movies from when I was younger in that it's so quotable. There are so many lines from this movie that are so iconic and so funny that they just stick in your brain and you can just quote them on a dime. Uh, most notably, the scene between the main character, Leonardo DiCaprio's Jordan Belfort, and um, Matthew McConaughey's character. Uh, Matthew McConaughey is in this movie for a very short period of time, but it is a hilarious cameo. Hilarious. And having read a little bit about the movie is anybody who's seen it will understand at the beginning of his scene, he starts off with, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was actually, that's actually his way of warming up for a scene. And the director, Martin Scorsese and DiCaprio saw this and they said, this needs to be in the movie. That's what I read anyways. And just that whole scene plays out. And it's so funny because Jordan Belfort, by this point, hadn't been blinded by his lust and his greed and his desire for excess. And that's really what this movie is about. It's about excess. Excessive amounts of money, excessive amounts of women, excessive amounts of drugs, and what somebody will do to acquire these things. But the way Scorsese shoots it is so fantastic. You know, you see, you see just the depravity in a person when they want something bad enough. And that's what makes this movie so enjoyable. You know, you see, you know, when a character is on drugs, you see at least Scorsese, in my eyes, it appears as if he's trying to allow the audience to to see what that character might see when they're blinded by greed or excess or high on drugs. And that's what makes this movie so good, is that he tries to make you feel like you're in the movie with these characters. And... You know, along with DiCaprio and McConaughey, you have such a fantastic cast. You have the likes of Margot Robbie, who this was probably her breakout role. And now she's one of the most famous women in Hollywood. You have John Barenthal, who's been in so many different things. is such a talented actor from movies like Fury to TV shows like The Walking Dead. You have maybe the most underrated character in this movie is actually Jonah Hill who is so over the top in his demeanor and his character that it's just hilarious there's a particular scene where they're both uh, DiCaprio and him are both on drugs uh, having taken quaaludes and Donnie for some reason just takes a bite of ham and almost chokes to death and it's just his delivery in that scene is fantastic you have the likes of Jean Desjardins who won uh, the best best actor Oscar for his performance in The Artist you have Rob Reiner one of the you know iconic actors of all time you know it's just such a fantastic cast and that's that's the trademark with a Scorsese movie. Is you know you're going to get a fantastic cast. You're going to get fantastic performances. And you're going to have a, a fantastically directed film. And, you know, like I said, this is one of those movies that, you know, reminds me a lot of when I was younger. It's just very quotable. There's a lot of lines that just stick in your head. And uh, it's just it's just a fun it's just a fun watch. You know, uh, it's it's a little slow at times. Um, you actually kind of want to see the characters high on drugs. You want to see them, you know, doing the crazy things that they do on drugs. And 
you know, when they're not doing that, it it feels like, okay, it's missing something. Um, regardless, it's still a fantastic watch. It's still one of the better movies of the last decade. Uh, it's not Scorsese's best film, but, you know, he doesn't make a bad film. Uh, I think this deserves at least an eight. Um, not a high eight. Uh, I'm going to go eight one. Um, again, it's a very long movie. So there are parts of it that are kind of like, meh. But all in all, it's, it's still an enjoyable movie. It's a fun watch. Uh, definitely need to watch it on some kind of platform other than television because they do cut a lot out because of the excessive uses of profanity, the drugs. Um, but it's it's still a great watch. So 8-1, Wolf of Wall Street 2013, that's a review. I'll see you guys next time at the movies.